How would you feel if you knew that your mom or daughter had undergone female genital mutilation? How would you feel if you knew that you were next in line? Do you even know how bad FGM is? All around the world, women and girls have undergone FGM. This is a useless and harmful practice, and the women and girls who undergo it usually have no say in it. While this may be a topic that many people are unaware of, it is estimated that 200 million girls and women in the world have undergone female genital mutilation. This is a practice that involves cutting, sewing together, or completely and literally mutilating women's genitalia for non-medical reasons. It is very risky and a huge violation of their human rights, or lack thereof. The reason why many men do this to their wives or daughters is so that they can control their sexuality and prevent them from having sexual intercourse with other men. It is unreasonable, violating, and unjust. Female genital mutilation is a harmful, useless, and violating practice that needs to be abolished and outlawed by governments all around the world. Female genital mutilation is very harmful, and it has zero health benefits. According to an article from BMC, FGM is a dire violation of human rights, particularly women and children's rights, and results in severe health complications, including, but not limited to, death, disability, miscarriage, stillbirth, shock, hemorrhage, sepsis, sexual dysfunction, and post-traumatic stress disorder. This should open up your eyes and show you how female genital mutilation has no health benefits, but on the contrary, it could have many harmful effects on the females who undergo it. We need to strive to strengthen women's rights so that we can prevent harmful things like this from happening again. We women need to be heard, and we need for women to be respected just as equally as men would be. Female genital mutilation is also a violation of women's human rights. According to BMC Women's Health, cultures that put a high premium on preservation of virginity, reducing premarital sex and early pregnancy, and minimizing the risk of extramarital affairs have been shown to be more likely to encourage FGM. This shows how the women undergoing it are being forced to have it happen to them for non-medical reasons. Women have to undergo this because men want to have control over their bodies and sexuality. This is a huge violation and it's unacceptable. We need to educate and empower women who are in societies like this, and we need to let them be aware of how they are in control of their own bodies. FGM should not still be going on to this day, and it needs to be made illegal in all countries. Some people may say that female genital mutilation is cultural, and that because FGM is a cultural belief, it should still go on. However, regardless of what the cultural beliefs are, female genital mutilation is still and has always been a harmful practice and the women that are forced to undergo it should still be able to have a say in what they want done to their bodies. Women need to be able to have control, and men should not be able to tell them that they are invalid or that they are not allowed to have any control. While this practice may have been deemed as acceptable at one point, it should definitely not be now. Many women are cut without a say in the matter. According to IPPF, the continuation of FGM sustains massive gender inequalities in practicing societies as it limits opportunities for women and girls to understand their full rights and potential. Women and girls who are being forced to undergo FGM are being stripped of their potential and it will keep them from having the same experiences and opportunities as those who don't have to undergo it. And those women should be just as worthy of those experiences as everyone else. Many women who undergo female genital mutilation don't even realize that it is a bad thing. If it is cultural, then they are raised in a society where men tell them that they do not have any control over their bodies and that men can do whatever they want to them. It is a violation and it is not right. Overall, female genital mutilation is a major violation to women and it needs to be made illegal all around the world. If FGM continues to be legal in parts of the world, then it will keep on happening and then more and more women will be affected. If female genital mutilation is causing health complications and even death, then it needs to be abolished. However, these women who are being effective and the men who perform the practice need to understand how bad FGM is. We need to be providing health education for women and girls all around the world, explaining the health complications that female genital mutilation causes. In order for there to be a change, we have to change something. In order to abolish FGM, we need to change the law all around the world so that this harmful practice will be made illegal.